Cops of Reddit. What famous people have you pulled over and how did it go down? My dad was a cop. Pulled over none other than Marilyn Manson for an unsafe signal lane change. He was bragging the day it happened. In the early 2000s. Said he was nondescript and low-key. Apologetic and didn't act like a big shot above the law. Always heard that he is a really nice guy. My dad pulled over Clint Eastwood. I guess this was just after they started requiring licenses to drive motorcycles in California. He pulled him over because he was driving squirrely like he didn't really know how to ride. His was response to license issue was man next thing you know you'll need a license to ride a horse. I can hear him saying that too. My father was a police officer for 27 years and in one day he pulled over Paul Newman. Who, apparently, was notorious for speeding. So, my dad goes to cite him and gets a call for an accident that needed assistance down the road. Then sometime shortly thereafter, my father pulled him over again and Newman allegedly groaned. Not you again. Newman. Not a police officer, but I was a Nick Park ranger in Central Park. I asked Christiane Amenpour from CNN to put her dog on a leash and she said do you know who I am? I said I don't care who you are, put your dog on a leash. I would imagine that in Nick it would be very difficult to pull off the do you know who I am gambit. I used to live in Bergenfield, New Jersey a few years back and I think Chris Rock lives there, or Inglewood somewhere in Bergen County. My buddy was a teenage cop and said he pulled him over for going 55 in a 30 and NJ is mad strict with driving. He said Chris was awesome and even gave him an autograph after the speeding ticket. New Jersey isn't exactly mad strict with driving. Everyone is always speeding because they can't pull over everyone. Former police cadet and dispatcher here. I was on a ride along and was told this story. So this officer pulls this car over for speeding. She then suspects the driver of being drunk. She calls in his driver's license to run it. The dispatcher tells her, you have Nick Nolte pulled over? Do you know who he is? He's a movie star. The officer is young and doesn't know who Nick Nolte is. It turns out he wasn't drunk. He was just being Nick Nolte. She gave him a warning and sent him on his way. Nick Nolte will always be Romeo Dollar in my mind. My friend is a cop in Chicago and years ago he pulled over Sean Hayes for speeding on Lakeshore Drive. My friend recognized him from TV but didn't let anything on. As he was writing him a ticket, Hayes asked, do you watch Will and Grace but my friend just said, nope, here's your ticket. Not a cop but I was working as a lifeguard and we had the beach red flagged, no swimming, for rough surf. There was this girl swimming so I hopped on my ATV and headed down to call her out of the water. Her swimming was weird, I couldn't put my finger on it right away. Part of determining whether or not I have to rescue someone is to evaluate their swimming stroke. She wasn't in obvious distress, just swimming around in her weird sort of way. I blow my whistle to get her attention and she starts swimming back to shore. At this point I should probably mention that we had a surf contest going on and there were a bunch of pro surfers in town because of it. She walks out the water and at this point I realize why her swim stroke was weird. She only has one arm. Now I've got to tell Bethany Hamilton that the water is too rough for swimming. Now I've got to tell Bethany Hamilton that the water is too rough for swimming. You don't know the half of it. I'm not a cop, but when I was in school one of the school cops was watching our class for a little while, and he decided to tell us about some chick he arrested a few nights earlier. He arrested some lady for drunk driving, and she kept screaming at him to look her up and that she's famous. He looked up her name, and it turns out she was on The Voice. He watched the video on YouTube of her singing terribly and being an butt to the judges. He arrested her and found out she was wanted in Louisiana so he had her sent all the way from San Angelo, Texas to bumfuck nowhere, Louisiana. Moral of the story. Shut up. You're not famous. My dad is a retired NYPD cop. Many years ago he pulls over a limo in Clint speeding on highway zooming towards Manhattan. Driver pulls over and admits to speeding and begs my dad not to look in back. He naturally looks in back and there is Johnny Mathis and another guy stark naked going at it. Johnny Mathis begs him not to say anything and my dad says no prob. When he returns to precinct, there is an envelope there for him. Two front row ticks to see him perform at the old rainbow room in Rockefeller Center. He goes with his fiancee, now my mom, and I was born 9 months later. Thanks Johnny, if it wasn't for him, I might not even be here.
So your dad lied to Johnny Mathis. I wasn't a patrol officer, but rather the sheriff's deputy at Aspen's airport, Sardi Field. I had to threaten to tow both Kurt Russell's and Hunter Thompson's vehicles more than once when they left them where they weren't supposed to, parked right in front of the airport. Hunter was Hunter and just mumbled and groused, and Kurt usually just waved and smiled. Dirty violators, the both of them. I can still remember Russell's license plate, VCD 711. And to think the bastard, Russell, played a lawman in Tombstone. He should know better, then again. My co-worker wrote Wes Craven a ticket. He didn't know who he was and so when he gave him the ticket, he just was like here's your ticket Mr. Craven. My co-worker told me that if he knew he wrote a ticket to the Nightmare on Elm Street guy, he would have issued a warning instead. My co-worker is also from Kosovo so when he tells it with his accent it's extra funny. Kind of upset me that he would have given him special treatment if he had known he was famous. My father-in-law was a police officer for many years and often regales the story of how, during a routine traffic stop, he met the great Kit Duncan. I've heard he's pretty down to earth. Only local politicians. They've all been buttholes and expected me to just let them go regardless of why I stopped them. Some got warnings. Some got tickets. One got arrested because she was drunk. I treated them just like I treat everyone else. Some of my co-workers got pee about the arrest because she was on the county council and they vote on our pay raises. But DUI is DUI. I'd rather pee off a council member and miss out on a raise than let some drunk go and find out later they hit and killed someone. You're the best kind of cop. 3. Once a member of parliament were detained and put to jail for being too wasted. After an hour this MP told me that Ishii wants to get out but I refused since Ishii was still too drunk. Then MP said to me don't you know who I am and I answered yes, but don't you know as a lawmaker that it applies to everyone and slammed MP's cell door. Ishii got pretty pee but surprisingly didn't file any complaints against me. He can't, it's the law. Some police officer pulled over Kit Harrington once for speeding or something. He said he'd let him go if he told him if he's really dead in Game of Thrones. He told him. He let him go. True story. At least according to Kit. On your way, Lord Commander. My friend's dad arrested 6 x 99 We know. 6 x 99 told everyone about it already. My dad ran into Bo Jackson emerging from a patch of woods in camouflage carrying about possibly poaching trespassing. Right outside his gated community Ena Woods, Burridge, Illinois, they just chatted about the large local buck, they both apparently knew of, for a few minutes and parted ways. Personally, also cop, I never dealt with anyone famous, unless you count the kids of the Chicago Bears radio broadcaster, Jeff Joniak, indirectly. Bo knows Bowers. When I was a cop I pulled Blake Shelton over once. I walked up the window went through my little spiel hello my name is officer Juskvin with the city police. The reason I've stopped you tonight is insert crime. May I see your license and insurance verification. He gives me his stuff and it's really late so I haven't even figured out it's him yet I'm just thinking this guy looks familiar he was really friendly and pretty apologetic super nice guy I wanted to ask for an autograph a picture but felt like it would have been unprofessional. Hate getting stopped for insert crimes. I should be allowed to insert crimes whenever and wherever I like. D'Angelo Russell. He was respectful and didn't mention who he was. I didn't know it was him till I recognized his name and looked him up. I let him go with a warning on some chicken crap window tint traffic stop. That's BC he got ice in his veins. My father-in-law ended up pulling over a terrorist who was on the FB's 10 most wanted for expired tags. When he ran the plate and the database he got a call from an unknown number telling him to keep the guy where he is until backup arrived. Within 20 minutes two FBI agents, SWAT and a Black Hawk helicopter arrived and arrested the guy. What a way to be arrested. So you have some expired tags I'm going to have to hold up a second I've got to take this. Sam Elliott has a ranch just outside of Brownsville, or, which is just off to the left of nowhere. A buddy of mine is a deputy for the county, and has run into him in the store buying milk or whatever. One of my buddy's co-workers had had to go out to the ranch to take a report, when Mrs. Elliot got bit by a dog or something. The next day, my friend pulled them over without realizing who it was initially until he ran the plate. When he went up, 
he greeted them, and asked how she was doing, and she was all, oh, that's so nice of you to ask, everybody always wants to talk to my husband, like he's some movie star or something, I guess she wrote a letter to the sheriff about how thoughtful it was of him to ask and what a nice young man he was. He's married to Catherine Ross, who is an actress of note, The Graduate, and lots more, you know, a movie star. This is from Lewis Hamilton in his interview in Letterman. He drove a particularly loud sports car in London, and was promptly pulled over by a cop that told him as he approached Lewis's window who do you think you are, Lewis Hamilton? He didn't get a ticket. Former police officer here. I was on patrol when I saw a group of people trying to cross the street on a very busy and dangerous four lane highway in the dark. I pulled over and loaded them up and drove them across. It was the band. Till Tuesday. Nice people. I have the same name as someone famous. When I get pulled over by the cops it doesn't help me any. The fact I look nothing like them and live in a different county doesn't help. Kind of similar. My dad had a seizure and one of the fire department guys was a retired NASCAR truck series driver. Dude was chill as heck and told some stories for me and my siblings to calm us down. My father was a repo man for a short time in Newark NJ. He ended up getting a call to put a car on the hook for unpaid bills. As he put the car on the hook a man started running out to the street shouting hey man. That's my car. Don't you know who I am my father had no idea. The man then proceeded to tell my father that he's red man. My father responded yeah, well I'm white man. Next time pay your bill and drove off with the car. Sounds like he was in muddy waters. My dad pulled over Milwaukee Bucks player Erson I lars over. He was going well over the limit and well over the pace that traffic was following. My dad was going to cut him a break until he blurted out in his Turkish accent I was just keeping up with traffic. Slapped a ticket on his butt for trying to argue over a petty ticket that wouldn't even make a dent in his 7 mil a year contract. Not a police officer and not famous but I was so high once that I drove by a cop standing by his car. He waved to me and I pulled myself over thinking he was flagging me down. Of course I'm not a police officer, but NASCAR driver Kurt Busch was pulled over once. He tried the don't you know who I am routine. It didn't work. For what it's worth he's a lot less stuck up nowadays. My dad once pulled over Bobby Bones for a tail light down highway 37. Not sure what all went down Baffer but I do remember my dad quoting him. Not again apparently it had happened at least 4-5 times before this happened and he needed to take that car to go get the replacement bulb. He hadn't noticed until after the morning. Not too interesting but it's funny to think he was pulled over so many times for the same thing. I met and spoke with a lot of celebrities when I was a cop, as our jurisdiction covered a prominent nightlife spot and casino, never pulled one over, but met quite a few, the most memorable was Rick Ross, I had a sectarian old piece of crap lieutenant, we were in the middle of an initiative to it and otherwise remove a growing presence of 9 tray bloods, this meant approaching a lot of black, and white, and hispanic. But this story was specifically about a black individual so I only have one example. Apparently I must explain things like this because offended by everything and twist facts I know. Nothing about type of people. Individuals if they met the general description. Sagging pants. Face tats. Since he reds hat. The area banned bandanas and they started using the red hats to fly their colors. We would hit them. Tell them they were not welcome dressed the way they were. So they could pull up their pants. Take off the hat, and stay, or they could leave entirely. My partner and I recognized Rick Ross. He was with someone, and they were just enjoying a frozen cocktail. My LT comes up and tells us we need to add those two blacks. We're not about that. We tell him we know who that is. He's a successful rapper. We're not gonna harass him. Long story short we were ordered and did as ordered but I made it no secret to him while asking for his id that we knew who he was. We enjoyed some of his music. And that we didn't want to harass him but the one racist fart made us hit him. He was cool about it. With my partner and I. I still feel bad about having to harass him like that. Dude was legit just chilling. He said frick that place and left immediately after. Smug but LT came by smiling that he knew there was something wrong with him mother he had 8k in his pockets you ain't crap to him lol. Cop here. We wouldn't really be able to tell you any stories, at least in the UK, due to data protection. 
I once saw a cop pull over Chuck Norris. As he was in a good mood, Chuck Norris let the cop off with a warning. Did I just wake up in 2005? I came here to lurk, but the more I realize, I don't know any of these celebrities. You have been visited by the doggo beer master. Comment delicious so you always have beer in your life. Thanks for watching. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.